What's up guys I am back and iOS 14 is just a week away and these are all the confirmed features. So to kick things off Apple is going to introduce car key with iOS 14 and if your car is NFC enabled you will be able to lock and unlock it without a key just by using your iPhone. Now BMW is supposed to be the very first car company to allow their cars to be turned on and unlocked with car key. And car key is going to have a unique feature so you'll be able to share the key to your friends and family if they ever want to use the car and the feature sounds great in my opinion now homekit is also going to get a bunch of new features with ios 14 and one of them is night shift so if you have any smart led or lights hooked up to homekit you'll have the ability to schedule them on night shift just like ios so in the day your lights will be cooler and dimmer and at night they'll be brighter and warmer and they're also going to introduce a new facial recognition system for your security cameras so it'll be able to recognize a certain person and just let them in now os recovery is also going to make its way to ios 14 and if you have ever used os recovery on the mac you know that this is the best way to reinstall the mac os and fix any issues now ios 14 is gonna get a brand new app switcher just like the one on the ipad os so you'll have a better view of the apps at the screen and you'll be able to just wipe them off one by one and maybe just maybe they will give us an all kill button so we'll have to see if they do but it's gonna be way better than the current app switcher now the apple pencil is gonna get a bunch of new features with this update so one of them is gonna be full safari support for the apple pencil and the other feature will have the ability to convert your handwritten messages into actual messages inside the keyboard and that's gonna be pretty amazing and finally with this update Apple is going to give us the ability to choose a default app I mean how many times you open a link in YouTube and it took you to Safari instead of Google Chrome well with this update you'll be able to choose a default app so your default mail client can be Gmail and it's gonna be great in my opinion. Now Apple is gonna refresh the entire wallpaper section so the organization would be better and you'll be able to tweak the stock wallpapers by giving them a tint or a gradient and you'll also will be able to install third-party wallpapers right inside settings and use them and that's gonna be pretty amazing. Now with this update Safari is getting a built-in translator and it's gonna be great. I mean Google Chrome had this feature from years now it's finally coming to Safari and you'll be able to quickly translate any page from any language right inside and it's gonna be great now Apple is going to introduce a new feature called clips which will allow users to test and preview an application in the App Store without having to install it on the phone and the feature sounds pretty amazing so a lot of you are pretty curious when iOS 14 is coming and what devices it'll support so iOS 14 is gonna support every single device that supported iOS 13 so even the old iPhone 6s and SE are good to go with this update and iOS 14 beta 1 is coming on the 22nd of June and you can expect a lot of coverage for that so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video for more content please like comment and subscribe until then peace